Is it a struggle for you to work out at home? Do you wish you had some guidance and some ideas for things you could use around your household to incorporate into your workout to make it more interesting or fun? If so, keep watching. Today I'm gonna to give you some ideas of some very simple, easy exercises that can be done anywhere in any home. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Danielle and I'm so glad you joined me today. In today's video, we're gonna talk about some simple and effective ways that you can exercise at home using items that you have around your home. Now, as I said, and as you will see, I did mention that these exercises can be done inside. They don't require a lot of space, but as I thought about it, as I was looking back at my footage, the exercise part of this video takes place outside, and you'll see that in a little bit. If you're in an area where you do have good weather, or if you're in an area where the weather is getting better, I recommend that you do try to do some of these exercises outside, because it'll be really good for you, I think, to get outside, get some fresh air, get some sunshine, and I really would recommend doing that. The other thing I wanna say is that you will see in the video that I am using the help of my boys just because of my setup and the way my microphone is. It's really easier for me to record somebody else than to record myself. So I realize my boys are 12 and 15, they're kids, so not everything when we go through the exercises are going to be perfect. There might be some instances where their form is a little bit off, but I will be talking you through what you should be feeling, what the exercise is supposed to be targeting, so you will know that. If you have any questions about any of the exercises I go through in today's video, don't hesitate to put a comment in the comment box below and I will certainly get back to you and I'll be happy to help you in any way that I can. The other thing I do want to say is that I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional, I don't know your personal physical situation, so I'm going to tell you the same thing that I tell all my clients when we train together. If you try to do any of the exercises I recommend on your own and it doesn't feel good or you feel any pain, you want to stop immediately and not continue until you consult either a fitness professional or a medical professional. And with that, we're going to get into the exercise portion of the video and then I'm going to come back and give you a few other tips and ideas and talk to you a little bit more. So to warm up, if you can, now that the weather's getting nicer, I recommend that you go outside and maybe jog around the block or run around just a little bit. So I'm gonna start the boys off with a jog down the alley and back. So when you're ready guys, go ahead. And what this will do is this will get your heart rate up. You wanna kind of warm your body up and get your heart rate up. You do want to remember that because you're not moving around as much as you normally move around when you were working or doing other things, you do need to spend a little bit more time warming up than you normally would. The next exercise that we're demoing for you is an upright row that'll work your upper back and shoulders. We are using a large laundry container, but you can use anything you have that has some weight to it. You can go ahead, Isaac, when you're ready. Now in this exercise, it's very important that you stand up nice and straight, keep those shoulders back, squeeze the core and get those elbows above the shoulders. You really wanna focus on pinching those shoulder blades together in the back and you will feel this in your shoulders and your upper back. For this next exercise, Isaac is going to use the same laundry detergent container that we just used previously to demonstrate some squats. You can use anything you have around your house that's heavier, that's somewhat easy to hold. Isaac, when you're ready, go ahead. So the thing about this that you need to remember is you need to sit back and your knees should not extend over your toes and you want to come into your squat as comfortably as you can. You want to look ahead, not down. And always remember, if you ever are doing squats and you feel any pain or pressure in your hips or knees, you want to stop. For this next exercise, Isaac is going to demonstrate some bench step ups. We are using a little wooden bench that we had. You can use anything you have. You can use a little stool or a sturdy chair or a small bench. You can even use stairs that you have in your home and just do it in a stairwell. Go ahead, Isaac, when you're ready. Isaac is using some half gallon water jugs for some extra added weight. You don't have to use anything if that's not comfortable to you or if that's too challenging. You wanna alternate feet, you wanna squeeze your core and stand up nice and tall and go as quickly as you can. This will work the legs, it will work the hamstrings and the glutes and it will get your heart rate up, which is also an added bonus. For this next exercise, Titus is going to demonstrate push-ups. Now in this example, 
I have Titus using a small bench that we have at home. You can use anything you have or you can do them on the floor, but sometimes for some of my clients that have knee issues and they really can't get on the floor or it's too painful for them to do push-ups or plank on their knees, I do have them do that exercise on an elevated surface. For our purposes today, we're doing this on this bench because I don't want Titus putting his hands on the ground. So Titus, when you're ready, go ahead. Now when you're doing this, you want to bring your elbows back as Titus is doing and you want to keep your body nice and straight and you also want to keep your hips down you want to engage your core and like I said you can use any surface whether it be the floor or an elevated surface to appropriately and effectively accomplish the push-up motion in this next exercise we are going to do some arm circles using soup cans now you could use Anything you have that you can hold, you could also even do this with the half gallon water bottles or water jugs if you wanted to add more weight. So Titus, go ahead when you're ready. He's going to do forward and reverse. So go ahead and reverse your circle. Now as you can see, he's holding his core nice and tight, standing up nice and straight, and he's keeping his arms nice and straight. Now even if this doesn't feel like a lot of weight, which it probably won't for a lot of people, if you do it for longer, I recommend that instead of doing repetitions on this exercise, you do it for a certain amount of time. So if you do this for a minute, I guarantee that you're gonna feel your arms. The next exercise we have is basket jump overs. You can use a bench like we just used, or a chair, or even a little stool. Now, if you have bad knees, or you don't wanna jump, or you can't jump for some reason, you could step over or you could do some step jacks. I will demonstrate that next. But Titus, go ahead, you can start. Keep going, you wanna go as quick as you can. And again, this will really get your heart rate up. Plyometrics are just really good if you're trying to increase agility or speed. In this next exercise, Isaac is gonna demonstrate the step jack. Now, you can also do jumping jacks, but for those of you that don't like to do jumping jacks or maybe you can't, the step jack is an effective way to also get some cardio in and raise your heart rate. Go ahead, Isaac, when you're ready. You wanna keep your arms as straight as you can, and you wanna move as quickly as you can. Keep going. Good. So you can see as Isaac's getting warmed up, he's moving faster. That's exactly what you wanna do. In this next exercise, Titus is going to demonstrate how to do a plank. Now I have him using the bench that we've been using only because I don't want him putting his elbows on the ground. You can certainly do this on the ground on your toes, which is a traditional plank, or if that is too challenging, you can do the plank on the ground while bending your knees and leaning forward, keeping your hips down. But if you have a challenge with your knees and you don't want to put pressure on your knees, another way to effectively do the plank that is a little bit less challenging is to put your elbows on an elevated surface the way Titus is going to be demonstrating here. So Titus, when you're ready, go ahead, get into plank position. Now I'm going to walk around so you can see Titus's position from the side. When you're in plank position, you really want to make sure that your hips and back are not too far down or not too far up, that they're in a nice alignment. Titus, you wanna look straight ahead. And this is an example of an abdominal exercise that I think is highly effective and you don't need any equipment to do. For the last exercise, we're gonna demonstrate an abdominal exercise that's gonna work the obliques. Now in this exercise, Isaac is holding the water container we had before, but if you want something that has more weight, you could use the laundry detergent container that was much larger or just anything larger that has some weight that you can easily hold on to. Isaac, when you're ready, go ahead. What you wanna do is you wanna grip a heavier item and you wanna just come to the side and let the weight of the item pull you down to the side. You wanna be nice and straight so you don't wanna lean forward or back and you really wanna feel that in your obliques and your side as you're coming to the side. You wanna maybe do 10 to 15 reps and then switch sides. So now that we've finished our exercises outside, I did wanna take a moment and just talk to you about some things that I forgot to demonstrate or things that I was not able to demonstrate as far as other 
options for you to get some exercise in at home. Two of the things that I forgot were bicep curls and tricep dips. You could use those water jugs or maybe the laundry detergent jug to do your bicep curls and you could use a bench like we had outside or if you have a chair at home that's sturdier and solid. You don't wanna use a soft piece of furniture for tricep dips and you definitely don't wanna use a piece of furniture that will move like something with wheels on it or something. I think a lot of us know what those exercises are but if you're unfamiliar with bicep curls and tricep dips, you definitely can Google that and you will find lots of tutorials on how to do those exercises with proper form. The other thing I wanna mention, if you are someone that has younger kids at home and maybe you're finding it really challenging to work out at home because you don't have the time or your kids aren't giving you the space, incorporate your kids into your workout. They will love it and you will get your workout in and it's also a time when your family can bond. So when my boys were a lot younger, I did this with them and they just loved it. One idea I have is if you have a smaller laundry basket and you have a very small child, you can take your child and let them sit in the laundry basket while you do squats with the laundry basket. They will love it, they will think it's so fun. Take your child in the laundry basket and just carry them around the house and you will definitely work your whole body and they will think it's really fun. The other thing you can do with the laundry basket, if you're not motivated to put in a half an hour, 45 minutes or, or an hour, but you do wanna do something and get some physical activity and you wanna work your whole body relatively quickly, take that laundry basket, fill it up with some heavier items. For us it was two of those half gallon water jugs and the laundry detergent was pretty heavy. You take your basket and you fill it with things like that and you just carry it up and down your steps 10 times and then you follow that with a plank for like a minute and you repeat that sequence three or four times, it won't take you very much time at all, but you will definitely feel your heart rate going up and you will feel like you got a full body workout. So another idea for you. The last thing that I just wanna mention is using your furniture in your home to help you work out. Now, I don't know what the layout in your home is or what type of furniture you have, so you have to be careful don't do something that you run the risk of injuring yourself, of course. And in my home, I couldn't do this. We have a very heavy leather couch that I'm not able to lift, but if you have a piece of furniture like a couch or a chair and you can take the end and lift it to do squats that might give you a little bit more weight for your squats, you could even lay on the floor on your back and utilize it to do some leg presses if you wanted to do that. If you have the appropriate or right type of furniture, just be very careful if you're going to attempt to do something like that. Another thing to do right now, because we're all in quarantine and we're at home more, is give your living room or your sitting room or your family room a nice deep clean. Move that furniture around, maybe reposition your furniture, clean underneath your furniture, because just the act of moving your furniture will definitely raise your heart rate and you'll end up with a cleaner room. The other thing I wanna say about cleaning in relation to exercise at home, Sometimes what I do with my kids is we'll set an alarm for 10 minutes and we'll each pick a different area of the house and in 10 minutes we clean as fast as we can and we do as much as we can and not only does our house get cleaner and my boys are motivated to do it because it's only 10 minutes, I have found through wearing my heart rate monitor that it does raise my heart rate and I do get a workout and I'm usually sweating when I'm done. If you have a heart rate monitor, like I use a MyZone belt or if you have a Fitbit or an Apple Watch or something like that, Wear it when you're doing this and you'll find that you will get your cleaning done faster, but it's also a way to get some exercise and movement in at home while you're doing your cleaning. So I hope these tips today were helpful. Let me know what tips you're gonna incorporate at home. Let me know if you have some other strategies or other things that you like to do as far as working out at home. I'd love to hear from you. And like I said, if you have any other questions about anything I talked about today or anything you saw when we were working out, please let me know. I'd be happy to help you in any way I can. And as always, don't forget to make your everyday ordinary lives extraordinary.